Hello and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is WWD Deadman, but you already know that. And um, yeah, this version of KSP is running on 64-bit on Windows. Yes, that's possible. And if you want to check out how that is possible, check out the link in the description down below. Uh, that will take you to the Kerbal Space Program forum. And there's just this one uh, thread that I linked. And uh, yeah. A guy pretty much found out how to make uh, Unity play with the 64-bit uh, player instead of the 32-bit player. Just by, by changing out two files in your KSP directory. And as you see, I am using... Uh, all my mods, I am. I have transferred over my uh, save files and everything, and we are completely without any problems working and going fast because this is 60 FPS right now, 70. <laughs> and usually on this screen, my game would be on like 20 FPS. The FPS boost you get from just using 64-bit. Also, I'm not using the active texture management. Because now I have pretty much unlimited uh, um, uh, RAM capacity that this game can use without any problems. I don't have to stick to the 32-bit uh, stuff. Yeah, but um, that aside... We want to get a uh, a asteroid. Class D is large. C, C. Do we have any class A or B? No, we only have class C and class D. Class C is probably a little bit large to actually um, use in this particular um, with our particular tech that we have right now. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. And actually wait for a new one to spawn or something. So you are still C, 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 D, D, C, and C. Okay, um, so how about we go and do our little multiple moon lander mission first. Yeah, that's a thing that happens a little bit often. Uh, sometimes you get uh, uh, a problem where yeah, you, the only real... A real glitch I've found so far is if you are in t uh, physical time acceleration, the screen will uh, kind of do a little bit of, of blinking to white, and you obviously get the the um, astronaut facility here um, every time you uh, you do a little bit of of you know uh, screen uh, thing. Where you, where you change screens. Yeah, if you do that, that's gonna happen, but yeah. Okay, anyway. Every time you go back to KSC, that is obviously... Yeah, there. That was another time that happened. And every, every screen change that happens, obviously. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to build a um, thing that could... Uh, transfer over um, a bunch of of uh, carbonates and make them land in the specific um, biomes that we choose. So um, essentially, what we're gonna do for that is, I'm oh, the bad thing is I did not transfer over my flag. Now we have a white flag. That's not good. I should probably change that and transfer that over to <laughs> so we're probably not gonna launch anything in this episode and I totally forgot to set a timer anyway so I guess we're just gonna construct this vehicle and then that's it for this episode <laughs> at least that's what I think we're gonna do so thing is uh, we're just gonna take our Ares one that was a weird change in music Yeah, okay, that would be the next uh, the next best bug, I guess. But as you see, everything works here. 
So we now have our Eris one here. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna redesign this thing a little bit. Um, actually, Kerbal Engineer, you can go away for a minute. Um, and we're just gonna rip off this thing. You know, I don't even wanna use that huge that huge lander thing here. Actually, let's just not use the Ares one. Uh, let's actually build something else. Ares two. Uh, lander. Lander prototype. So we're gonna have an actual lander can for this lander for the, for the landers, cause I, I just like that better. I guess. Um, also, I don't think we need actually the Kerbal Flight Engineer on each of them, but I am going to put it on there anyway, since I do want to have... Uh, that's where the flag would go. Well, I guess... <laughs> I guess we're gonna have that once I transfer over the flag file, because uh, that's a PNG file I just didn't remember to actually copy over as well <laughs> um, anyway we will use um, of course a docking port on this docking port hello universal docking port medium yeah that's gonna go on there I'm gonna use the universal docking ports just because uh, not real reason I just don't want to use the standard ones. Um, then we put on a battery. Oh yeah. That's gonna be a little bit of a thing. Um, let's just make that... Yeah, put that over where the flag's supposed to be. Yeah. And then we're gonna add photovoltaic panels. Um, how about here? And how about we put that a little bit further down? Actually, let's put that over the window and uh, we can just go ahead and um, do this. Now we have four solar panels on this. And we're gonna add that to the first action group as always. Toggle panels and toggle panels. Should be all of them, yeah. Um, also, dear Kerbal Flight Engineer, I only need you once. So... How about you vanish on the other side? Thank you. Because I kind of need to get out on this side. So since we don't have any way to actually make this land on Kerbin, we're actually going to take uh, on the center stage of our uh, transfer vehicle all the Kerbals in, uh, you know, like, habitat stuff. Like, do we have that? Do we have that at all? <laughs> um, no, we don't. <laughs> okay. Um, so, if I want to do like six of these, then I'd need to take two command parts. Uh, we're gonna see how we're gonna do that. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> That's definitely gonna be fun. Yeah, anyway, up. Till then, I'm just gonna keep on doing this this way. Um, that also means we don't need to actually decouple anything under this. Um, instead, we just put um, a bit of fuel and an engine. Engine, engine, there it is. Yeah, that's an engine. And um, then we're gonna use the Sepatron 2 as a booster. 
to start us off I'm gonna limit the thrust to 69% or something. No, uh, actually limit the thrust to like 50%. The solid fuel can stay in. Um, at least that should not be a problem if I do it like this. So Kerbal Engineer, please. Um, on the moon. Thrust to weight ratio. Yeah, without that, still 15, so, yeah. Way overpowered, and that means we can just keep that that way. Um, yeah. Then we need a decoupler. And I actually want to do something about uh, this not having the correct uh, form of doing something here because I'm gonna do this um, do you get anything from that kiss um, in case you don't I'm about to just change that I want to make sure that this works, so... Um, can we go... Uh, can we go in here? No, we can't. But this should work. And... Hello? And this should work. Not this should get fuel, no matter what. And then we're gonna go and say... Um, decoupler. Small one. And then the second one of these. Um, where is that? Where did we have that? There we had that. And put that there. And then we put fairings on the side. That doesn't work. Of course that doesn't. Could you not spaz out like crazy? Like this. So. Um, that looks way more like it should. Doesn't it? <laughs> uh, although that's probably a little bit of a f large fuselage here. To actually have around this or, or fairing. Um... This thing should actually not decouple, if that has a decoupler. Um, mm, that's the ring, so we want that, and that, and that, and that to decouple here. And then we can start this whenever we want. At least this should work this way. Uh, as for the landing stage, we will go and... Um, have... A fuel tank in the middle. Shouldn't be too much though. One of these. And then we're gonna go and put on. Do we have the long ones yet? No, we don't. Um then we're gonna put on this. And oh, 
Wrong one. I wanted to alt click. Um, that I'm actually gonna use those uh, separately because I don't want. Um, could you just attach to the side or something? How about you don't angle snap? That would be nice. Okay. So, obviously, that doesn't work. Then we'd have to go and put this here. Come on. Seriously. Um, then how about... Do we have the little struts yet? Structural stuff. Or anything I could put there. I mean, technically... What the hell? Thrust plate multi-adapter. Uh-huh. Whatever that does. When quad adapter is just not enough. Oh, that's a... F that's a five-way uh, engine adapter. That's nice. <laughs> um, no, what I wanted... Oh, yeah, CSAS. Because I just saw that I don't have that yet. Reaction wheel. That should be good. Um, structural. There we were. Do we have, like... Structural pylon. Can we put that here? It looks weird. Okay. How about we do this? Put this on top. And then just copy this over to here. Then we do the goo. Goo goo. There. Here. And here. And for the descent engines, we put more uh, little tanks here. An actual four times symmetry. Let's feed from the inner tank and get ourselves a descent engine. That's totally overpowered. Yeah. Because that's how I like it. Um, structural. Strut. Strut these here. And strut. Eh. From here to here. And from here to here. And from here to here. And here to here. That should work. Then we need landing legs of sorts. Uh, landing leg. That is a way too huge landing leg. Um, do we have... Anything better than that. That's a shielded docking port. And the big landing struts. Yeah. Because the B9 ones are just way too huge. And if I do this... Okay, this looks good. Um, let's do that here as well. 
or at least let's do that here as well here and on the inside I don't know because those uh, fuel lines are kind of in the way um, how about we do it more like this and this more like this I really don't know because those fuel lines, I don't want them to be like weird or something. Put that here. That should work. This should go past. Okay. On the moon, of course, we don't need any ladders or anything. That would be just fancy bullshit. Um, what we do need, though, is not a barometer because we don't get to do that. But we need a thermometer. And um, I think I'm actually just gonna take the thermometer data uh, back up with me. Or something. I don't know. Um, let's just put the thermometers right next here and here. Okay. And have those uh, ones while. Actually, we only need one thermometer because we won't get to do more than one. Measurement with that, and that's well landed. So, I guess I could just put one here and make the other one be here just for uh, weight distribution, I guess. Okay. Of course, this part is going to stay on the moon again. And yeah, we don't really need a barometer because we don't have an atmosphere on the moon. So we can't really use that. Um, yeah. That should work so far. Save that. Uh, under that, the launch stage, I don't know yet. Probably a pretty huge thing. Just for convenience sake. Um, so, let's for instance do this. Then let's do... Um, where is that adapter part? Don't I have an adapter too big? That's the only adapter I have to the big parts? Wow! Nice! Really nice! <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna go and use, this was the XL, I just need an L, um, for the last bit, oh yeah, RCS, if we want to dock this, we need RCS. Uh, and I definitely want to dock this. So, RCS fuel. On top of here, yeah. And then some RCS ports. I'm gonna go ahead and use those thruster blocks. Yeah. 
here and here and also cause we need to dock them once here this should work okay um, also before that I want a fairing base at 2.5 meters um, then we need like three nodes probably let's take four and put a um, fairing egg shaped hello cool yeah cool <laughs> uh, yes um we're gonna have that up here because I wanna again do that with my action group um, custom 10 jettison jettison oh no not that one <laughs> the other one all of them if possible jettison you're not doing that I know that you're not doing that <sighs> that didn't work last time so I hope this time it will work. Just go in with that. Um, under this, I want a poodle engine. Poodle, poodle. Ah. And a decoupler. Nope, big one. Thank you. Oh, there would be the other adapter. What does? Ah. Why have I not seen that before? Um, just have a look what that would look like. <laughs> this does not work at all. <laughs> Shift click and put that higher, maybe. No, 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 no angle snap. How about that? No. <laughs> that just doesn't want to go on there. That's better. Um, and then I could theoretically put like, um, I don't know, those. And um, and those. Theoretically, that would work for work best for our uh, next atomic engine whatever we're gonna do for that um, here I'm just gonna take a mainsail and below that below that probably not much but on the side of that 
I want a uh, decoupler. Actually, by now we could actually as Paragus stage stuff. How about that? And let's just make that like this. And put the big uh, liquid boosters. Um, here and here. So those are the ones that go second. So we want stuff feeding from here to here and from here to the middle. Uh, maybe a little bit more fuel on top of that. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Um, and a aerodynamic nose cone. We still don't have that. <laughs> That's nice. Um, then we're just gonna do the improvised version of that. Like this. And we're also gonna do this. This should work. Yeah. And the same from here to here. Why would you not do that? On both sides. Then like that, I don't care. Um, just cuss. Totally know that I didn't need to do that twice. Okay, and from here to here, and here to here. Yeah. Looks weird. <laughs> but should not have a problem getting to uh, so overpowered. Still overpowered. <laughs> so I probably need only half thrust to make this lift off. That's nice. Um, while we're at it, we could just um, actually add a Sepatron uh, system to that. Because I do want those to fall away. Okay, those two Sepatrons go in there good and those two sapatrons go one deeper yes one lower actually not deeper and then i also want boosters just for convenience sake maybe that's overdoing it actually yeah i think that's overdoing it so let's just add launching clamps and be done with this and also please would you kindly start this engine with everything <laughs> now we're overpowered <laughs> Yeah. That's definitely no problem to get into orbit with that. Uh, so we lose these, we lose these, we lose this, we start this, we... Lose the fairing, um, and... Actually, I think I can 
say uh, whenever I start this, I can lose the fairings and put that in there or something. Because, you know, it's just something I'd like to do. Then we decouple all of this and start yakking out. Yeah, exactly. Um, land a prototype saved. And next time we're going to try to launch this, I guess. And what we're gonna do for the uh, Ares 2... Can we have a new, please? Mm, for the Ares 2 main transfer... Is going to be this. Actually, I ju could just put like one, two, three more on top or something. Because everything else kind of seems weird. Thing is, I'd have to uh, actually land this thing back at home. Shouldn't be a problem, though. I don't know. That looks weird. You know, what I actually wanted to do is, like, use um, the, the habitat mo module, the... What am I call it? How about we do it like this? And go, like... Um, this... And put like, uh, I should stop saying like, uh, one of these and four of these. And strut this together just so that it doesn't fuck up. <laughs> and then we put like... Stop saying like. No. And like that, it should actually be able to go back down. With all the data when it comes back. <laughs> And the main transfer engine is gonna be, of course, uh, something like this with a poodle. Or a low profile or something. I don't know. It's actually the ISP of these. Hmm. Weird. Weird things. Um, yeah, let's go with a poodle. And the rest of the design of this... Stay there. Rest of the design of this is, of course, gonna be in the next episode. And, um... Save. What I totally need to do to make the Ares 2 lander prototype... Um, actually able to land on shit... Or actually able to uh, fly off, uh, uh, fly up there and not, um, and use like, seriously, I, I just need this to be somewhere. So, how about we put one here? And one here. I just need this to be on there because that's gonna be not flown, but fl 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 
No Kerbal's ever gonna fly this thing until uh, they're actually over at the moon. <laughs> Good. Um, didn't I put you, like, down here? Because it looks better. If you're not, like, 10 kilometers in the air already. Safe. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode for the launching back with the flag and stuff. And, um... Till then, like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and until next time, I'm WW Deadman. Bye!